Okay, in this video, I'm going to show one of the new features that came about in the latest release of FactorTalk Optics, which is um, version 1.5. Version 1.5 just came out within the last couple of weeks, late October 2024. And um, one of the new features is the support now for um, extended tag properties. So under uh, data connectivity uh, here from the release notes, this is just the release notes for the 1.5 release. Um, so support for logics alarms and extended tag properties. So in this uh, video, I'll just show real quickly, you know, how we go about using those extended tag properties. Um, I will do a, a, a follow-up video on using the tag-based alarms from the logics controller. So to get this kind of, uh, just to show what I've got set up is I have a really, really uh, simple Logix application created and running in my Logix Echo emulator. And essentially all it is is just I've created a, a UDT, user-defined data type that um, kind of has, you know, a structure. Uh, the premise is going to be like a tank. So I've got, you know, tank one. Uh, UDT created and tank two UDT created. And I just put a few, you know, tags underneath just to kind of show something. So I've got a couple of string tags, such as like name and description. I've got a level, a temperature, and uh, a couple of Boolean points around um, a fill and discharge valve, perhaps. And then a uh, an, another uh, integer or double integer value um, for outlet flow. And then um, just for, you know, just to kind of show under like level, I'll go ahead and blow this up. So if I click on the tank one level and over here in the properties, I've enabled the extended properties and I basically put in a engineering unit for gallons and a min and max values. Um, just say it's a hundred gallon tank. So from zero to 100. Did the exact same thing on the temperature in that uh, I have the engineering units enabled and the min and max. So I went with Fahrenheit and I kind of just took a, an RTD range, say from minus 30 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit um, as the min and max range. And that's pretty much all I've done here um, as far as setting up the tags. Um, then when we come to optics, the uh, kind of created a screen here that will kind of highlight, you know, being able to read those extended tag properties. Um, first, uh, of course, is I would have imported the tags, which I've kind of already done. So the one thing that needs to be um, that you have to make sure that you have enabled to to be able to use the extended tag properties is underneath com drivers. And on my, um, you know, device itself, um, you know, I have a com driver created. I also have the, you know, of type uh, RA Ethernet. And then I have a, you know, a new station, I guess is the proper term, I should say, you know, it's the station. So if I click on the station, which is the Logix Echo, over here in the properties window on the right, I have basically um, two things that need to be turned on as true um, to do some of the things I'm going to show. You know, first, to use the extended tag properties, I need to make sure this is true. Um, initially, when you created the station, it actually was set as false. And then uh, if I want to use the tag-based alarms, I would also need to turn that on the true. So again, in a follow-up video, I'll show the alarms, but I'll go, I already have it kind of turned on here. And then you would do your tag import. When you do your tag import, um, if we come down here to, uh, to tank one, um, you know, the UDT, we see um, level and temperature, but we don't see the substructure or the extended tags of those two things yet. So for us to be able to use those, we're gonna have to actually have to do it from, um, kind of inside the screen that I've developed. So um, for the screen itself, again, really basic thing here, we got a, you know, just a tank and I've got some controls here that I can turn, you know, slide up and down the level and temperature. 
And then I've, uh, I'm just going to, you know, pull some data, you know, the, the kind of the live data from the controller to show these things, right? So name and description, that was basically the two tags I already had created here, two string tags. Um, and then to kind of highlight the extended tag properties, I've got both the level and the temperature. Now, to read the engineering units, the min and the max, in order to do that, when I come over here, if I click on the, uh, you know, on this label, come over here to the, um, you know, to the text, I'm going to click on the dynamic link. When I come to this dynamic link, if I scroll down, basically I'm underneath my comm drivers, um, logic echo for the station, tags, controller tags. I will come down, find my tank one UDT. Now here's the level. And now when I expand level, I will actually get the extended tag properties showing up here. Um, I have engineering units, which I have to expand for a display name. Also, if I go down just a little bit more, we have engineering unit range, and we have low limit and high limit. So these are the tags that I will use to associate with the text that I will display on the screen. So um, for, the, for this first one, I want the engineering unit display name, just like it is. And for my min and max, if I come here to my minimum, right? So this is my level engineering unit low limit. And then my max, of course, is going to be my uh, level engineering unit range high limit. Okay. And then I did the exact same thing for temperature. Um, engineering units here, uh, min and max as well. The other kind of interesting thing that I was able to do was I was able to dynamically link the the ranges of these um, two graph um, or bar graphs or uh, sliders to those uh, engineering unit min and max as well. So that way, if I were to change the min and max in the program, these, um, you know, these linear gauges would also uh, dynamically update their minimum and maximum values as well. I did the exact same thing on the tank. So the tank, I will be reading the level, but then the, the, uh, the minimum level will be tied to the, to the low, um, to the engineering unit low uh, limit. And the uh, maximum level will be tied to the engineering unit high limit, right? So I can actually, you know, now dynamically change the uh, the min and max of all these um, objects on the screen right from the uh, extended tag properties uh, of the uh, logics tag. Okay, so again, nothing really special going on here other than the fact that you know we can now drill down deeper and find those extended tag properties. So I'm going to go ahead and start the emulator and we'll just show that we will be getting live data from our controller. All right. So, um, you know, essentially I'm reading a, a level of value right now. I'm displaying that engineering units, uh, which I put gallons in the logic controller in the min and max as zero and a hundred. And on my temperature range, um, I've set it for Fahrenheit, and I had that range from minus 30 to 250. So if I you know, scroll up on here, we see that the number changes. Scroll down a level, we see the level changes, right? So um, pretty straightforward. If I were to uh, attempt to come back here to my um, tag properties um, and change something, then I would be able to see, you know, that change on the optic screen, right? So maybe we'll see if I can do this live. Maybe we'll say we change our range to 300 now. And if I come back to the, to the runtime, we can already see that the maximum setting did actually update to 300 as well as on my linear gauge here, changed the upper limit to 300 as well. All right. So that's pretty, pretty nice and pretty interesting. So um, extended tag features. This was, of course, a preview feature back in 1.4. So perhaps you've already kind of used this, but now it is uh, 
is fully enabled uh, in the 1.5 release.